Please turn to page 52 of my book, Socialism, Economic Calculation and Entrepreneurship. Starting on this page, I show that in scientific terms, it is impossible to organize and coordinate society from above, based on coercive demands. And here, I would like you all to remember our definition of command from the other day, when we contrasted commands with laws, and we considered the ramifications of both. A command is any specific instruction or rule which has an explicit content, and which, regardless of its formal legal appearance, forbids, orders or compels people to carry out certain actions under particular circumstances. The ideal of socialism is as follows. Instead of allowing us to freely and spontaneously buy and sell, depending on the profit opportunities we detect, each of us is required to stand still and wait to be told from above what to do. And once we are told what to do, we have to do it, because we are forced to. The question we must ask is, can this command and control approach, along with the use of violence, possibly permit the coordination of society? Is such a thing possible or not? Well, the conclusion we are going to reach, and I will explain it in detail now, is that regardless of emotional considerations, regardless of political passion, which is irrelevant, regardless of whether we are dealing with right-wing or left-wing socialism, socialism is simply an intellectual error, a scientific error. It is theoretically impossible for the agency in charge of exercising institutional aggression to gather the information and acquire the first-hand knowledge it would need to give a coordinating quality to its commands. Note that I am explaining the theoretical and scientific impossibility of socialism, and my argument rests on the fact that the agencies in charge of exercising coercion cannot possibly. And even if the authorities were endowed with the greatest virtues you can imagine, even if they were saintly men and women, such as Mother Teresa of Calcutta, that would not matter. If a saintly person were in power, and not a Stalin or a Hitler, the saint would still cause chaos in society. Why? Because it would be impossible for her to obtain the first-hand information necessary to issue commands capable of coordinating society. This is an epistemological explanation, so to speak, of the impossibility of socialism, and it is based on the fact that the person in charge cannot possibly acquire the knowledge he would need to incorporate into the commands he plans to forcibly impose on those under him, so that by obeying him, those under him can harmoniously organize and coordinate the social process. We will explain from two different standpoints the reason for this impossibility. First, from the standpoint of the coerced human beings who make up society, and second, from the standpoint of those who coerce them, that is, the dictators, the rulers who are above society and impose commands on those below them. And in this sense, whether or not they have been elected democratically is irrelevant.